What's up, Windsurf Wave Foilers? I am back! It's been a year and a half since I made a video, and I apologize. I've just been having so much fun riding, I've been riding, 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 learning, 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 that I just haven't, uh, haven't gotten down to making a video. So I wanted to share some new things that have happened. It's been a year and a half since the last video I've made. I've come a long way in windsurf wave foiling, so has my wife Lisa. And the first thing I want to share with you is the new Top Gun Maverick. Oh man, this board is fun. You'll notice um, it's 12 inches shorter than the Iceman behind it. There's the Iceman in the bag there. So this is the Top Gun Maverick. Six foot compared to seven foot with the Iceman. You've got 112 liters compared to 122 liters. And the board is so, so snappy. You come up the wave, whether you're front side or back side, and you, you hit the top of the swell, and it just, it just carves and rolls right back down the wave. Super, super fun board. I'm 160 pounds. It's easy for me to uphaul, um, easy to slog when there's very light wind and you can't get on foil if the, if the wind dies. So it's a great uh, board for me because uh, whatever happens, I can get back to where I started from, and uh, just a hell of a lot of fun. One of the other things that I like about it is because it's so much shorter, the wind doesn't get underneath it as much. You've got 12 inch less length, and it's only 10 liters smaller, so you still have quite a bit of float. It is thicker than obviously because you've got uh, uh, less length and the uh, same width, so you got to sacrifice in the thickness. So it's a, a thicker, shorter, and just really, really fun all around board. The next thing I want to share with you is this cool boom handle that Casey Treichler invented. He's the designer and builder of the Top Gun series boards. Uh, he came up with this super awesome handle. You just use these straps to, to hook it onto your boom, and then as you're going down the wave, you can just hold on to the handle with one hand as you flag the sail out. Really makes wave riding a whole nother level higher than what we were doing before. You can just surf. You don't have to think about the sail. You just hold it onto the handle. Your hand is, is perpendicular to the boom. It's not at an angle. The sail flags out perfectly. So that's been really, really fun and really, really exciting. Um, two, uh, two and a half years into this windsurf wave foiling now, and what's interesting is when I look at my training log, in my first year, I mostly used the Maliko 200. And I only spent 3% of my sessions on the Iwa. My second year, I spent 30% of my sessions on the Iwa. And this year, we're roughly halfway through this season, I've spent 60% of my sessions on the Iwa. And if I had to go back in time at my weight of 160 pounds, I wish in year one, that I would have spent more time on the Iwa because I think I was overfoiling a lot with the larger wing. Same with my wife, she's even smaller than I am, she's about 30 pounds less. And so in year one, I think I would, uh, would have spent more time on the Iwa if I had, uh, had known. Um, but for guys that are heavier, for guys that are 190 pounds, probably the Maliko 200 would be what they would spend most of their time on in, in the first year. Um, but either way, they're both great wings. And what I found for me, the Iwa is what I'm using when the wind is over 20 miles an hour. That's a general rule. And the Maliko 200 is the wing I'm using when the wind is under 20 miles an hour. And again, as a general rule, there may be some exceptions depending on wave, si uh, wave size and what's going on with the wind and such. But, uh, but that seems to be what's working best for me. Same for my wife. Actually, for my wife, she's 125 pounds or so. The Iwa probably is uh, what she's using. Anything over 18 miles an hour seems to be the case. And, uh, but the Maliko 200 is still great for those lighter wind days when the waves are small and you want a big wave experience when the waves are only little tiny waves. This really allows you to surf those waves. And they're both great wings. I had a lot of conversations with Casey about these wings because they, they carve so well and they have so much grip and hold in the water. And Casey was telling me he thinks it's because there's so much curve in these wings. A lot of the, 
newer wings that are that are out there are very flat and they, they don't have a lot of curve and so they tend to sort of yaw and kind of slide through the water they don't really carve and grip and uh, with these you can just push them really hard down the swell up the swell and you can really uh, thrash around and, and you just have tons and tons of grip so these have been great wings it's still mostly what I'm using as far as sails go the biggest sail that I'm now using is a 4.7 meter sail and I got the 4.7 and the 4.1 from Ezzy, the Ezzy Taka, which is a four batten sail with a three quarter batten just above the boom. And I really like that because the sail totally depowers when you have the sail flagged out and it's not nearly as twitchy when the sail is flagged out as my other sails, which are onshore power wave sails. They still have the curve in the sail so when you flag them out they're a little bit twitchy because the wind is still uh, making the sail respond. We've now ordered and tomorrow is supposed to receive the Hot Sails Maui Micro Freak which is a kid sail in sizes 38, 32 and 28. Those should arrive at my house tomorrow and they are also four batten uh, sails with a three a quarter batten in the middle but the fabric is much, much lighter. I, I have not yet tested them or used them, but Casey Treichler has, and uh, he swears by them, so I'm really, really, really excited to get those tomorrow, get a session out uh, on the water, and uh, uh, see what those are like. I think they're going to be great, and the three-quarter bat, though, really seems to, uh, to be the right way to go if you're going to be windsurf wave foiling with the sail flagged out. just takes away a lot of that twitchiness. So that's all I've got for you today. I hope you really enjoyed this video. And if you did, please click the like button down below and subscribe to my channel. All right, have a great day, and I'll see you on the water.